Welcome back, everybody, to the plays. This is Red Dead Redemption 2 again. Um, yeah, so we are picking up on Chapter 3, where we left off. So, let's take a look here, where we're at. <laughs> it's been a minute. It's been a little bit. Um, oh, shit. I forgot that we still have those little side missions up here. Okay, so one first things first, we need to go over here to Black Bell. Um, Black Bell? Black Bella? I think it is? Yeah, Black Bella. Go over here, finish that side quest up because we need to finish that one before it goes away. Um, I can find our horse. Hey. I'm back, girl. Anyway, I just want to say thank you all to the YouTube community for uh, supporting me, watching the videos. Thank you to the people over on Twitch as well, too, for watching me do the live streams. Um, everyone's well. Yeah. Oh, sh shit. Ah, it's spear. It's a horse. Jeez, I hate the forest. I hate the forest. So many trees. Darky. Hey, over here. Over here. Oh, stranger mission. Oh, well, we got stranger. Please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Oh, shit. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm gonna. Please. There you go. There you go, oh. dude. Oh, thank God. Oh, well, I have waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I, I wish I could give you some money or. Come on, girl. Well, you know, I might have something of interest. Oh, really? Some fat feller and his wife had a pig farm. Uh, Northeast of Rhodes, near the border with Roanoke. Word is, he's got piles of money. You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? Oh, a home I robbery. I nothing. Do Let's go check out the home robbery. Where's this at? The Aberdeen Pig Farm. Oh, there's a house north of Rhodes. The world is, the word is that there might be valuables inside. Yep. Do what you will. I remember this one. Okay, let's check out the look of the map. Like, fucking Twitch is stupid. I'm a viewer and it shows zero. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Twitch is... I don't understand Twitch sometimes. There's so many things wrong with Twitch. Um, you can have, like, 50 people watching and it'll show two viewers. It's it's terrible. Skin this gator. Damn. Hell yeah. A poor alligator skin. Miss Meaty, where are you at? Because you about to stow this away on your back. Okay, my girl. <laughs> yeah. God, what's wrong with you now? Uh, okay, Come what's wrong with you, dude? Doctor. Uh, uh, you gotta. All right, Sam, uh, all right. Uh, you gotta. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna help me? Um, what am I supposed um, to do? Please. Pick him up? Oh. Yeah, I gotta bring him to the doctor. Please. Oh, this dude! Do something. I'll get you help. Just stay alive. Okay. Oh, let's lost our alligator skin. Okay. But this dude is the one who gives us the uh, the tip as far as going to another farm. Okay, we need to get him to the doctor. Shut up, dude. Uh, 
I'm nearly there. Just hold on a little longer, all right? Where are we going? Where are we going? This way. No, wagon. Must stay awake. Dude, he is not looking good shape. He is looking rough. Oh, my God. Dude, stay awake. Stay in there. I'm dying. This is it. Hey, oh what? shit! L sorry, lady. Sorry. There, girl. Oh, I hate the streets of Sandy. Knee. Right here. Come on, dude. Get off the horse. All right, friend. All right, we're at the doctor. Oh, come on, dude. Come hey. on. Hey, excuse me. Oh, good God. Quickly, bring him in here. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I remember this so clearly now. Right here. Sit him down in this chair. <laughs> oh, good yeah. thing. That's going to be good. Uh, uh, what happened? Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry. You're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Oh, shit. Sure. There's me a also a matter of my opinion. But we'll deal with that later. All right. All right. A lot of blood loss. Oh. Spoon's badly infected. I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate. What? Cut it off. What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, I'll give you something for the pain. No. Hey, Art. Then I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> no, I'm good. I want to stay. You do not want to see this. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, is it really? Yes. Come to this. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. oh. Oh, yeah. This is happening. This is happening. <laughs> Just sawing away. Oh, man. He just sawed away. Took that dude's arm off. What are you going to do with it? Right in the bucket. Right in the bucket. Oh, man. That doctor is covered in blood. Well, you're in a bad way. But you'll pull through. <laughs> oh god I do you're in my way though get there we go get here let me get out of here I'm stuck there we go okay it's nice of you to stay but don't fret he'll make it okay okay oh so yeah First trip to San Denis, we get to have someone's arm cut off. Right here, okay. So, um... See, where am I going? Yep, right. Crap. You there? Boom. Hello? You a bounty hunter? Not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell, I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. 
I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Hmm. Ah, those bounty hunters. Huh. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them, neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against Sam, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let huh. me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole oh. place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here. Let me take a look at it. <laughs> come on. Oh, come on. There you go. Stop just there. Now, set it off. Set it off. All right, let's blow him up. Oh. Here comes <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh shit! There's people from the side. Where at? Where at? Don't mess with my black belt. Oh, oh shit, I shot the horse. I was expecting a fight, all right. I brought a gatling gun. I keep fighting. Don't bring a gatling gun to a fucking pistol fight. Cheap bastard. That one of us is getting hit. It ain't over yet. Oh, here I comes guess your friends heard the hubba. There's gonna be some price on me when all this is done. Price don't matter if it's idiots chasing it. Well, at a certain price, you don't get idiots. Oh, oh, that yeah. one. He's going for the Gatlin. Where? Not more. Not anymore. Hell yeah. Yeah. You got them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh,. Don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that live that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Huh. Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm going to need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. Mm. <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and, uh, let me... You're just carrying a sack of, like, dead animal parts, probably. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Uh, let's see. Can we... Take a photo. Um, yeah. Okay. Yep. Got it. And I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been <laughs> running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. All right, so we got one down. Good we luck. One gunslinger <laughs> found and investigated. Time to get the others. Hope you're well, Arthur. Oh, Easy, big say man. Say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm All gonna right. kill somebody. Let's go ahead and if donate some. If you stop pissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. 
Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking, Wart. <sighs> My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you uh. crazy goddamn fishwife! Uh. Nerf, both of you! Damn. Well, come with me, then. How am I drawing in the there, camp? Run with the man? So be it. <laughs> we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of Bill's death. dropping with me. <laughs> Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me? Oh, no. While you're there? Oh, sure. no. Come on, princess. Are you the coming letter. with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> They're just so snarky. <laughs> oh man, I forgot about this whole letter you thing. Down then yet? I guess. No, I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating halfwit. I guess we all got to do our share, Princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Well, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. Here. <clears throat> oh, no. Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Huh. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> actually reading what's it. this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. That's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, or whatever they changed it to. <sighs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. God, I, I forgot about that letter. Yeah. Right, we gotta get this going faster. Taking a right. So fast, Jesus. I wanted to turn right, not here. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! You insane! Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools and rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No <laughs> guns. Jesus. Sure? She's a little trigger happy. It'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing <clears throat> exciting. Well, I'll be... So we gotta go to the post office, post this letter. <laughs> move out of the dark way! You move! What did you get there, Arrow? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Let's get back and do some great work. 
that, dude. Just walk right in. Scott. Oh, dear. Can I help uh, you, mister? Uh, send letter. Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Can I send the fish? Oh, we sent two letters. Oh, what was the okay, other one that we sent? No trouble. Thank you. Uh, let's pay our bounty off, too. I just don't want any law hunting me down. Oh! Uh-uh. I ain't going to West Elizabeth anytime soon. Um, I'll do New Hanover. And I'll do Lemoyne. But not West Elizabeth. $300, that's a hell of a bounty. We need to rob a train or something. Cars are still on time. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. We'll give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Okay. Let's go. Why don't you drive? Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Lady, get a move on. I like... Sadie. Not She's late. driving. I know. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband I like and I clothes. shared all the work. How can I, help? I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just. Treat me equal and no, nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Yeah, Miss Adler, she's a uh, she's hardcore. Just don't kill the camp cook, please. Hey there. Hey. Oh, hello. What uh, what you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. You Steve. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Oh, oh shot his ass. Go, go, go. Shit, let's get the hell out of here. Go. You wait till I get my head. What the hell was that? They was good to rob us. Think you're landing rickets? Oh, shut up. Oh, she ran him over. Well, you wanted to see some action, lady. Now you got your wish. That one nearly got you. Ah, oh, come on, dudes. Come on. Okay there, Shady? Oh, shit. Oh, face shot to point blank. Jesus. Lady, you are enjoying this far too much. Yeah, you run, you goddamn coward. I think we're good. Sadie, you had just too much to prove. All right, I'll drive us back. Arthur. Yeah, yeah, let me loot the body. What are it's you kind doing? of violent, yes. It's a we little bit violent. But we were about to get robbed. In her defense, we were going to get robbed. And she uh, took it upon herself to... Us. Dude, the body, gold wedding ring, nice. It's at least two dollars. A dollar eight. Okay, okay. Snake oil. Okay, let's get back here. No, 
past those reins here. <laughs> because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Oh shit, it's sunset. Up. I can't see anything. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. Oh, I hate this. I hate driving at nighttime. Uh, maybe not. Careful now. So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? There we go. Dream of it. The moon's coming out, so we can actually start seeing a little bit. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. Yeah, it's not that violent of a game. It's, it's a kind of a shooter game. It's the same as Grand Theft Auto. It's just this Wild West version. Oh, there's our horse, Miss Meaty. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, oh. they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And <laughs> okay. Nice pants, so, Miss Adler decided oh, to kill up. a couple of Moin Raiders. Not bad. Can you go speak to Dutch? Hello. Man, he is just looking like he is thinking about life. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. You know, in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts now i'll give you that but come on all right so we gotta follow we got dutch it's nice out hell yeah it's Old nice it says that there's a trick around here i reckon it's full of fit oh we gonna go fishing what are you doing are oh, you putting makeup on Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good along over Dutch. All right, so we're getting on our horse, and we're about to go down to a creek. Wait one second, y'all. I need to adjust some audio levels. Come on, then. Ooh, and that volume is too high. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. There we go. Maybe I can hear it now. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. The curious hey. couple and their unruly son. Yep, all right, it now feels I can. feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. 
for what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us, where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. Hey, so Phil, so how's the audio for the game? The Can you all hear it pretty good? And the rocks. See I tried to update the volume up. a little bit because I could barely hear it. We but my uh, audio mixer was Imagine maxing out. what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Uh, no violence. Like We're just gonna go fishing. Play it cool. Oh. Okay. Well, look what the cat drug in. Well, well, look who it is. Bother. Huh. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> so one of her buddies got arrested. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we, can we just... I huh. wouldn't do that if I were you. I, shit. I, the Anderson boys. I can't have more scandal. What? Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur. Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Oh, we yeah. We on a horse here. race now. Let's I thought go we were going fishing. Train. And do not shoot them. You hear me? No Come shooting. On, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster. Come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Uh. So what these fellas wanted for? Well, the Anderson boys? Robbery, murder, kidnapping. They're the lowest of the low. Looks Come like on, horse. Gonna make you sure I can't just shoot him? Huh? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Go back to pop. Yes, that oh. Ooh, that must have hurt. Oh, oh he got hit by the train. pole. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Come on. Come on. Get alongside the train. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Absolutely. Because you ride like my grandmother. Jump to the train. Now he's throwing Here we go. Oh. Break free. Break free. Break free. So much for fishing. Run, don't and get away. Stop. Chase them Anderson boys. You hold it right there. All right, all right, all right. Shit, bag. Stay on them. Bastard. Oh. Damn, bastard. Get the hell away. Get 
down. Gonna be dead soon, partner. Damn, she won't tie me. Running ain't gonna help. Come I'm on. For you next. I'm gonna ride ahead and stop the train. Yep. It's just us then, lawman. Oh. Come here. Oh, you wanna go? Father. Let me go. I can't do that. What? Oh shit. Come on. Fist fight and knife fight. Damn! Swing! Get him, Arthur! Get him! Get him! Don't let him cut you up! Nah, there you go. There you go. He knocked your hat off. Ow! With the knockout. Hello? Get my hat. Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. How the hell get out? Pick up the Anderson boy. Pick him up. Huh? Hmm. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old <laughs> Anders Anderson. So what now? Well, take him in. Come on. Okay. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. You didn't do anything. You there stopped you the go. train. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. Look out! Why are you riding like that? Dude, you're in my way. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is mm -hmm. part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging ooh, to the ooh, Great wagon. Family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. Uh -huh. I'm sure you already know of the brave Wait, weights. which war? Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They yeah, have a big farm. west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Don't. Sounds like quite the place you hey. got here. Well, we had a, a nice little We're fist fight catching here. up some outlaws. We got one on the back of our horse. Dutch has asked to, the gang not to use weapons or cause trouble in roads. Okay, um, that's saying something. It's nice little town. Is the Rhodes Parlor House? Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What well, more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. We're going to stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Remove Anders Anderson. Just bring okay. him here. Prices back here just seems to keep dropping. I can scarcely I believe that. Though. Hey, fellas. Carry him over then. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. 
man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. <laughs> so, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. Uh. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo? These better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't think oh, you he was talking to Penelope where Braithwaite. Around, and where you stay? Damn. I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses falling out. I, I got two more with Mac. Marrying cousins or not marrying them. Arthur, that's Jose. You start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like mm. we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some super super agents. Super agents. <laughs> what? I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Hmm. Man, Arthur's beard is getting a little bit okay. long. So these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea. You see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. <laughs> There's still time. I'm up for it. So we're actually going to go Arthur? fishing. Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Hey, stupid. Let's go fishing. Oh, sure, why not? Hey, yeah, let's go great. fishing. Hosea, why don't you <clears> lead us to that spot you were talking about? Kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Horse. I heard Fred finally got his ticket out to California. Yeah. Let's see. Butcher's here. Um, I want to save all the meat that I have on me. Gentlemen, follow me. Okay, how's that? Lead the way. So you feel it's not all violence. We get, we get to go fishing eventually. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. Mm, It'll be worth wagons. It. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. Mm -hmm. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere <laughs> and nowhere, it seems. <laughs> he wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself. 
open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, <laughs> if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell what kind of story is that? Hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawney's. What a terrible thought. <laughs> oh. My last game with uh, Mac. All right, Hosea. This. This is the spot. Oh, down to the left there. Over here? Okay. I was just about to say, it better not be too much further. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Oh. What is that? Yes, over there on the shore. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. What the hell is that? Is that a dead bird just floating in the water? I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Oh, so we are stealing a boat. God damn it. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. That's a big ass boat. Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. What about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do too. Keep going. Okay. Okay. We're going out here to deeper waters. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Where's your rod, Arthur? Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a. Uh, lake lure. Virgin. What's wrong with good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Uh-huh. I got a bite. Got one. Shit. Got away. Got a nibble there, Arthur. Now reel him in, Arthur. Please, this is the big one. Uh, I hate doing this wheel thing. That feels like a bite. Ha! Got ya! Damn it, I lost him. Damn, this one's causing waves. Look at that. Beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Follow 
Told me once What's saw that? a monster lake Four pound steelhead trout. Just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. There we go. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, oh, this again? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> <laughs> you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. <laughs> I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. Oh. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Damn. <laughs> These stories are terrible. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further hey, east we end about bass. Up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons had patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. <laughs> yeah, I loved her. Oh, this guy. My own way, and she, me, and hers. <laughs> Somehow. Oh, largemouth bass again. She managed to have the last laugh. One more thing. One more fish. I think will be the last. You're getting the hang of it. Mm -hmm, a large mouth. Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna leave hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Yeah, we caught enough. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. Huh? I asked that gal to give me some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I asked that gal to give me 
I couldn't wait till the tears was done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Tears got burned and so did I. Oh. That was that was pretty good. But you know. What song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we three poor mariners newly come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round, round, round? Shall we go dance this round, round, round? And the end is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round, 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 round. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around To them we dance this round around around And he that is a bully boy Come pledge me on this ground Round 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 Oh bravo They've been singing like they've been drinking for 12 hours We should not let the folks bed too much fun <laughs> There's our camp. Nice. All right. <laughs> All right. I think I, well, I mean, we are going to be okay. I know. Well, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. We had a good fishing trip. Good male bonding experience. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. That was a good trip. That well, was. I'll give these fish to Pearson. <laughs> oh, Arthur, man. Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Just a, just a few bucks. I'm short. What? Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. How many times you pissed yourself today? Well... Ain't that charming? <gasps> Can rob a homestead? Say what? Yeah, yeah, let's rob a homestead. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit. It ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Uh, <laughs> in that case, you're going to want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. We saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go rob a homestead. Nice. Just one mission after the next. Right, follow me. 
Rear jump on the horse. Follow Sean. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride. Not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. All right. Man. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there. Sitting around waiting to be told, I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, and from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> The fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes. See? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. <laughs> I got a train job with the oil wagon. Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't yeah. you? <laughs> now, that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those oh, yeah. bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't read a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head, but you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much for them. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. All right, that left away. Oh. Nearly there. Hard left coming up. Hard left coming up, huh? Oh, this one. Okay. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Dude, lead the way. I'm following you. Do I have a double barrel shotgun Let's make pulled sure out? We keep one of them alive to tell us where they stack them. <sighs> Lancaster. That needs to be Varmit. That needs to be Lancaster. The money. Hope you know what you're doing. Well, you get a move up. Yeah, I'm getting tired of the guns resetting. I saved it on the foot lo the weapons locker and at the a uh, the gunsmith, and it's not saving. I don't know if there's something I'm supposed to be doing other. Look, there's one of them outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. I hang back, okay.
Ooh, I could pick his face off right there. <clears throat> hey there! Oh. oh! I'm gonna give you about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Oh! Here come the rest of them. Dude, you said don't kill anybody. Tell me where that money stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. Whoa. You know what? Just get the hell out of here and don't look back. No, I want to shoot him. How? You're a cold one, Morgan. A cold one. Damn right I am. Cold blooded. What did he have on him? So, here we Nothing. Are. He got some good stuff. <sighs> Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Expect stash box. Okay. Told you we take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Go get the ball by myself. Oh, we got a double action All revolver. Right. Okay, right. new weapon. You heard him, right? he Money clip. The stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. Fourteen dollars. You find anything yet? Oh, right here. Hey, this is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. $20? Okay. There's got to be other places out there like this. Well, often being lucrative opportunities found at homesteads and the method to take off. Well, the highest amount of money won't always be the same. Huh. I think there's something else in this homestead, too. We just made 20 bucks. Ooh, bourbon. Take the bourbon. Salted meat. Too bad Twist isn't here because she's going to love some salted meat. <laughs> Got some cheese. Ooh, search the sink. Dude, that, guy, that dude needs to do his dishes. Uh, Gwarma Rum. Uh, some gin. Dude, we're gonna get drunk. <laughs> what else we got? What else we got? So, we actually have... We have a new gun now. We have a double action revolver. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. There's some bodies out here to loot too. We need every dollar we need we can get because we have that $300 bounty on. Wedding ring. Okay, nice. What's this? What's going on over here? Um. What 
What is that? Lavender? Oh, yep, lavender. Nice. Oh, sage. Are you looking at you? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined. How so? It's a disaster. He's British, of who course. Wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals. Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody no. woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot oh. myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals, they escaped. And now I'm, I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger. <laughs> on the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, no, elusive I am not zebra. fucking hunting a tiger. The of Ongo no. Ongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion. And the, the lion? Oh, of hell no. I yeah, see so your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Wait, what? Madam. It's Are bloody we Margaret, not madam. Ma Margaret. Oh Mr. my god, we're gonna have to go catch a zebra, a lion, and a tiger. Of all in things. Where's my horse? Yeah, just track it. Wait, where'd it go? There it is. Look here. They done to you. It's a donkey. Come here. Easy. Come here, donkey. Come here. Come on now. They painted stripes on a donkey. <laughs> Dude, here's your donkey, not your zebra. Good grief! You found him! Our zebra! <laughs> well, you can call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion. A trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink you your audience. Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> Dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. The allure of the stage. Dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning? There. In the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something Wow, that donkey had some big old balls. It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as, <laughs> as, long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. 
Uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. Uh. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caligar Way. <laughs> Please, I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. So we got a hunt a tiger. Great. Here. Oi. Come, uh, come here, Miss Meaty. You're about to get sold here in a second, though. Jesus. Yeah. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? Huh. No, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, uh. now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. Your lion from uh, Timbuktu, weren't he? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. What? It's a dog. Of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. Jesus, now we're gonna have to hunt the dog. That first set of shrubs. <laughs> That's where I lost sight of them. I got it. Got the trail. These are po friends. Way over here. Oh, what the hell? What's wrong with this tree? Why is the trees covered in red blood? Like orange blood. Look at this. What's this? Huh. There goes your line. Your dog. Ex dog, ex line. <laughs> hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. <laughs> what else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Oh, well, my God. Let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. Oh, I'm going to use the dog as bait. The other half? Really? I'm going to put him in your wagon. And you find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log then. Okay. There you go. Up and in there. Oh, Rubs that up. That dog's been eaten. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. You ain't <laughs> having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Uh. Where is he? Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, oh, they was friends. She's shutting. Oh, yeah, that's a cougar. Oh, well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Close the door. Close the door. Hurry. Hurry. Let's go. Oh, it's just we going to town. Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Well, I'm driving. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. 
She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all. Uh, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming <laughs> friendly one minute, dinner the next. Viciousness comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this racket? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... You can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's oh, shit, another wagon. bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Ah, uh, misogyny in the 1890s. Self misogyny at that. Oh, I just ran over something. We lost the main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful, or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know, the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. Uh, now they're <coughs> Some of them. Oh, sorry. Thanks to you. Oh, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. If you ever want to get in the sideshow business, I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. Huh. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. There it is, the caravan. Couldn't miss him if you wanted to. Mr. Margaret! Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. <laughs> I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Strappy ape king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not royal command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a carbine in Rhodes is hardly dreary bloody lame. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. Huh. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. Well, now we gotta go to Emil Rance to actually, for a lion? I thought the lion was a dog. Wait, is there a real lion now? Oh, okay, okay, Mr. Horse. Search Emil Rance for the lion. Okay. My beating heart. Okay. Holy time! We caught a trapping here! And I think we found it. What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looks like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. Hello. Nah. Now, nah. you excuse me. I'm going in, guys. Step aside. What? I said step aside. 
Oh, shit. It's gonna be a real lion, not a dog. Watch. Oh, God. I don't want to. I don't want to. No. Didn't look like no dog. Come here, boy. Let's go. That ain't no dog. I'm looking. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, it got out. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. Oh, shit. Bitch. Uh, I'll take care of this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. where is it? Oh, shit. Get out of the thing. Jump over the fence. There you go. Where in the hell did it fly and go? I think it's in here. Yep. Oh, I killed the horse. So much blood. No. Oh, it's a real lion, too. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ow! Oh, it got me! It got me! No! Okay. Um, I had a standoff draw with a lion. Bad idea. Okay, one more time. Fuck, you got me again. What am I supposed to do? I shot that lion six times in the head. Hold on. I'm gonna get this lion. I'm gonna shoot him down. There it goes. Hey, trophy. What? He's, oh, I'm skinning a lion. Woo, he got it. He shot the thing. Oh, I took his paw. I pray that thing's a goner. Dude, I got a lion paw now. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. Can I skin the horse? Oh! Whoa! I did not know I could have to interact with a horse like that. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. There you go. Put your head right. Come here, Miss Meaty. Don't look at that horse. Just don't look at it. I didn't think it was going to be a real lion. I thought it was going to be another dog. <laughs> Odysseus returns. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. Man-eating lion. You didn't think it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron. Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for... You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I'd known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A goose will hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. Huh. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell. This is Ramo, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is. You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of Eldorado. Oh. As green as the rainforest. As clear as the Amazon. 
and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of huh. course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the live? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really Jesus. must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. <laughs> well. <clears throat> we hunted as a donkey zebra. A Let's go, girl. A dog lion. Yeah. A cougar tiger. And then we actually got to a lion lion, a real lion. Which ended up killing us a couple times. Um I'm gonna see what other missions there are over here. And we might be able to we might have time to do one more mission before it's time to call it quits for the day. Uh we will see. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Damn it, Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help. Obliged. Okay. So we just have to go around, ask around, try to find about find out about the Grays. This dude. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and... Uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Okay. Okay. This is putting me uh, a little bit narrowing it down a little bit. Next side. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. Why am I shaking? Are we friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here. And suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. Yeah. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. <laughs> Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. Okay. We Grays, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet. Please. Well. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than our guards. Look out for the guards? Oh, shit. Oh, I'm going to have to sneak in. Horse. Okay. So we have to go find out, find Penelope Braithway. Sneak onto her property around a bunch of guards and give her a love letter in some weird Romeo and Juliet style well, Wild Western thing. So she likes to all right, so she likes to be on the gazebo in the back. 
Oh. Oh shit, I was already caught. What? Alright, retry. I guess riding a horse at full speed through the property wasn't a good idea. Can I take him out? Oh, come on. Don't get stuck in the tree. Gazebo. Oh, the gazebo's down here. Okay. Super sneaky fancy and red. Oh shit, there's a guard there. So here's a gazebo. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Why, well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Oh. Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. Hmm. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages, or, well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. <laughs> but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated, I... I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Okay, well, now we have to go back. Leave the area without being seen. Holy shit, I can't see where everybody's at. The whole map is solid red. Not a smart move to travel alone in these parts, especially looking like you. <sighs> you threatening me, you piss ant. Stupid bastard's got a problem with authority. <coughs> what was that? Come on, come on. <coughs> That's what you get, dude. I guess I was told. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, we lost our hat. Yep. Guy wanted to talk and talk lip to me. Idiot. I did not use weapons to cause trouble. He caused trouble with me, and I was defending myself. Therefore, I am following Dutch's rules. You know me, I'm on official business for the family. All right, come on. Yep. Ride my horse through their property, ripping up bushes and everything. <laughs> Field still chopping with me. What the hell is this guy anyway?
in here. You got my money? Oh. Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. And what does it say? My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. Say what? But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no... Oh, I'll shit. pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. All right. Mount my horse wherever the hell my horse is at. Miss Meaty, come here. Come here. Here. Gonna run away from me. Alright, so apparently we're gonna have to go protect them from having a women's rights march in the Wild West. Yeah, this is gonna be a. Uh, I have a feeling we're gonna get into a fight. A couple fights, actually. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Oh shit! Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Um, fight this mob. We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Oh, shit. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... Protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel <laughs> right at home. Oh. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, There's ladies. Gonna be so much failure in this we one. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the now, water. Now, now, take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Banker Roads, Mr. Wow. What is your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Uh, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Well, at least I don't have to shoot nobody. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. 
Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. <laughs> Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies! Oh. Get down! Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What are you doing? Wow, they're causing some mayhem. Well, ladies and gentlemen, well, this is a great day for all of us. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Wow. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Oh, yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. Oh. Oh. His philosophy hey. dependent on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin oh, is a moron. Yet. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yeah, I'm out to get into a fight. You learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, oh you always were. Bo, where are we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Uh, yeah, just come on. Step around the side of the building with me real fast. Can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We oh, shit, they're following us. All Americans. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Oh. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Come on. Look at the beautiful land we have built. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but I'm kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. I don't know my either. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets mm. and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Where the hell are you this going? This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Huh. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Well, okay. That's it. We just row with them to the battlegrounds. Thirty dollars. That ain't bad. A cut. That ain't not bad of a cut at all. Okay, girl. Oh. Over some pools and whiskey. Like oh, the waves of the bay of the whiskey. 
He's drunk. I began to tumble and roar. Nice. My face was as red as a lobster. <laughs> I fell and broke my poor knob, sir. <laughs> I watched you as picked from my fob, sir. I'll never get drunk no more. Morning, Mr. Okay, well, thank y'all so much for watching. Um, we were just serenaded by a drunk reverend. So, uh, again, I also thank y'all uh, for the support. And I'm going to end it for today. It's been a little bit longer than the usual stream. Um, I will pick back up later on. We are starting to un uncover the Greys and the Braithway storyline, as well as some women's rights marches. And hopefully, uh, hopefully we can actually... Oh, actually, I just noticed uh, there is another little fishing quest and something else here to do as well, too. So we will cover the rest of it in the next one. Uh, thank you all so much again.